Hey y'all, it's your girl Tiana Capri and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you girl, let's go ahead and hang out. But um, by the title of this video, we're doing things a little bit different here. We don't even have a vlog going on. We have a chit chat, um, get ready with me. So. I'm going to give y'all a second to go ahead and grab y'all wine and come have my rosé all day wine glass. And um, I'm drinking some type of strawberry margarita that I got from Walmart that I wanted to try. But mm, it's so good. But anywho, what I wanted to chit chat with y'all about is how did I randomly run into Michael Irvin. So for a lot of y'all who don't know, Michael Irvin is a Dallas Cow a former Dallas Cowboy football player as known as the Playmaker. And it's crazy because the week that I ran into him, that weekend I had just went to my first Cowboys game so I was just like God what are you doing in my life like I don't understand but all in all so I was on my way to the gym and um normally after work I go I come straight home and I'll go to the gym here by my house but that day I was just trying out another gym. I had been there like a, a few times, not too many times, but I was like, okay, I wanna go back to them instead of going to the gym across the street from my house. So I'm um, on my way to the gym or whatever, and it's this man, Michael Irvin, um, he's in the way, like he's in the way of me trying to park my car. And so I'm like, bro, like I'm screaming in my car, like, dang, move. Like I'm trying to park. So the reason why I couldn't park was because he was standing in the way and then he had his door wide open. So if I was to turn my car, I would have hit his car. Like I would have hit his door. So I'm just like, dang. But then I'm just like looking at him like, I know this man. But in my mind, I'm like, Tiana, you don't know nobody out here. Like all you know is your uncles. They live all the way in Fort Worth in Arlington. Like, girl, you all the way in Addison. Like, you don't know nobody out here. But in my mind, I'm like, I know him, but I don't know him. Like, I know him from somewhere. Like, I've, I've seen him somewhere. Because he kept like, like, I, but I just thought he was, because the gym that I go to, it has a daycare underneath it. So I thought he was getting some kids in the car. I don't, I don't even know. But I'm just like, bro, like, hurry up. But then, like I said, I'm still looking at him like I know him. And then I see him with like a very nice, like expensive bag, like Louis Vuitton bag. And I don't even know why the bag caught my eyes because baby, people are DH gating it up today. Do you hear me? <laughs> so I don't even really know why the bag caught my eye. So at this point, I'm like, I gotta say something to him because it's like, but even in my mind, I'm, even though I wanted to say something to him, I'm still not knowing who this man is. I just know that I know him. So he gets in the car. He finally gets in the car. And then I kind of like block him in, but then I was kind of like also reversing so that he'll have enough space to get out. And so I'm like, okay, do not let him go. Flag him down. So I like start, like he come, I make sure that he bags out to where he has to pass my car. So I'm flagging him down or whatever. And so he rolls the window down and he's like, how may I help you? And I was like, is your name Michael Irvin? And he looked like to his passenger side. And then he looked back at me. He looked like he wanted to lie though. And then he was like, yes, my name is Michael Irvin. And I was like, ah! <laughs> Like y'all, like. Y'all have to know me to know that, like, the Cowboys, as much as we lose, as much as they lose, I love them. Like, I just love them with my whole heart. Like, that's what I grew up on. Like, I just love them. So, to see him, I was just like, oh, my gosh. So, I was like, can we take a picture together? Can we take a picture together? And so, he started to, like, look around or whatever. I'm like, bro, you ain't got to look for no parking spot. Just park your car right here. Who going to do something? Who, who going to do something? Nobody. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing. So park your car right here and we about to um yeah, we about to we about to take this photo. 
So, um, he took the photo or whatever. Y'all, I have to show y'all. I will put a picture either in the video. I'm nervous. I didn't even know, like, what to ask him, what to do, what to say, what to... I was just like, how did I remember or how did I know that I knew you from somewhere? Like, you know, but like we just sat there, not sat there, but we stood there and we talked for a little bit. You know, he asked what I was doing. Excuse me. He asked me what I was doing in the area. He just seemed like a cool guy. Like, you know, most celebrities, they be like all stuck up and snotty and like they take the photo and then leave. Like, no, he actually stood there and I was telling him, you know, I actually went to my first preseason game, you know, at the stadium. And he was like, preseason, preseason. And I'm like, wow, what's wrong with preseason? Like, you know, it was just an amazing five to ten minutes of my life, honestly. Like, I would never, ever, 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 ever forget that day. So, mind y'all, so like, you know, he leaves or whatever. And at this point, I'm like, I'm a celebrity. <laughs> But something is in the air because there's no way that I should have ran into the playmaker. So I didn't even call my mama. I texted her the photo that we took. And then I texted my aunt. I basically texted, texted every single real Cowboys fan in my phone. And literally everybody was like, how did you take a picture with him? How did you do this? Where were you? Where are you? Da, da, da. So mind y'all, I didn't call my mama. I just sent her the photo. Literally, as soon as I sent her the photo, she called me. She's like, where you at? Da, 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 da. I'm like, girl, I'm a celebrity. Don't worry about it. Like, don't worry about it, sweetheart. <laughs> y'all, I'm literally in the gym, loud, everything. Like, I'm like, bro, I'm a celebrity. Stop playing with me. Like, mama, you burnt a celebrity. Shout out to you, girlfriend. But all in all, like I said, it was a great time I just think it was timing for me to go to my first Cowboys game, which that vlog y'all seen. And then a couple days later in the week, literally, I think, yeah, I went to the game on Saturday and I ran into him that Tuesday or Wednesday. So I was just like, I was literally like mind blown. Like, you know, I was just like, my week is made, my day is made. Can't nobody mess this up because I'm a celebrity. So... <laughs> Drink to that, drink to that, because I'm a celebrity. But, yeah, that was great. Literally, everybody was like, I wish I could have took a picture with the playmaker. I wish I could have just... And they was just, like, asking me, like, is he loud? Like, he is on TV, da 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 And I'm like, no. Like, he was just literally, like, a regular guy. Like, he was a, he was a really, like, a chill dude. Like, Michael Irvin, if you ever watched this video, you were a chill, nice young man not young man but you were a chill guy compared to most celebrities um but i don't run into too many celebrities and if i do i'm not the type to just be like i don't know no, no. like i'm not that girl but it was good to see a cowboys fan like they are cool but i've heard some are a little bit e eeky um, but yeah, even like my boyfriend, he was like, whoa, like he's not even a Cowboys fan, but he was still like, whoa. And so then once I got to work the next day, I started to show like my coworkers because they're Cowboys fans as well. And they was just like, what great timing for you, for you to leave here and then run into Michael Irvin. And I was like, you got to be a celebrity to do stuff like that. <laughs> I was like, you got to be a celebrity to do stuff like that, but it was just great like yeah like i loved it and hopefully one day i really y'all gonna see this face on the tizu not just for just for just for i don't think i would ever want to be on tv because people be in your business and i don't need nobody in my business but i really just wanted to come on here and do a video on how i ran into the michael Irvin. i wanted to do something a little bit different than my regular vlogs don't get me wrong i'm still doing the vlogs but let me know if I should do like a quick uh, a Q&A, um, any another type of sit down video like this where we can just chat and have girl talk. But all in all, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Um, go ahead and comment on this video and also share it. Like 
We are lit over here. We are celebrities over here. Honestly, that's what I'm gonna start calling y'all. Celebrities. My celebrities. I love y'all because we're celebrities. Ah! I love that. So if you like the name for my for for my subscribers to be called celebrities, let me know. I think that's so cute. I think that's cute. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna be called celebrities over here. That's what we that's what we refer ourselves to. Celebrities. I love that. I love that for us. Yes. But all in all, thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's a short video, it's not as long as my normal vlogs because it's not even a vlog, but Thank you guys so much for taking out the time to watch. I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for all the support thus far. We still have a long way to go. We have three more months left in the year. And I have a lot of goals for this channel set for us as celebrities. And yeah, we're going to get all those goals scratched off as well. So I love you all. Thank you all so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.